Hey guys, and welcome back to the greats, the one, the only, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. So previously on our last episode, we, we pretty much got an idea of what this character is all about, his mentality at the very least. So essentially we were playing as Edward Kenway, who is still a pirate at heart. I don't, I don't think we can label him an assassin just yet. I don't even know if he knows what an assassin really truly is, but it is now raining unfortunately that's that's just fantastic how did it just go from a beautiful weather to just raining I, playing as edward kenway who is a pirate who is pretty much tired of being broke and wants a better life for himself sets out to the seas and encounters this assassin and so he ends up to keep the story short he ends up killing this assassin or rather yet we killed the assassin which is really weird considering we've been playing as an assassin for like the last four or five games so we take his robes we, we take uh, this mysterious crystal cube that he holds, and he also had a letter that he was pretty much on his way to Havana, Cuba, I believe, if I remember correctly. So whatever goods this assassin had, he had to deliver it to the governor of Cuba, which is where we're at now. I honestly don't know how the day just turned so damn bad. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much the gist of where we're at right now. Okay, obviously, you can fill in the blank. You'd have to watch the last episode, but uh, we're here. In Cuba pretty cool and we shall commence with our beloved new favorite assassin I don't know about favorite I, I I think I still think Ezio's up there but it is it is too early to judge mr. Kenway one thing that I did notice about him was was his accent I, I really like his accent it's very pirates Irish is that a bad okay <laughs> Anyhow, I am really, really enjoying the atmosphere. I think this is the first time we actually uh, get to play here at night. For the most part, everything was very tropical, cool, calm, and sunny on the last episode. But now we're, we're getting a little bit of a taste of the atmosphere at nighttime. And believe it or not, for those of you that speak fluent Spanish, it, it's, it's really nice to see... Like some of these NPCs just speak Spanish, you know, it's it's freaking awesome. But they speak it with that uh Espanol accent. Espanol. They don't speak it like a Cuban would. This Cuban is pretty much a very slang way of, of speaking proper Spanish. But anyhow, we are here now. I don't even know if this place is open. Hmm. Mr. Walpole, I presume. Probably mispronounced the name. I'm sorry. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. So, Walpole, Walpole, whatever, man. Tomato, tomato. That is the assassin that we killed. Ese es el hombre? El, ¿Cómo lo llamabas? Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El senador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. That is so cool. I can understand their language. Llévame ese en alta mar. Sé indulgente con él. Is that the governor? Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. <laughs> Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. Good 
You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> okay, so use the... I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but he had his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> Quite. I feel kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. <laughs> okay, so press Y to shoot. Oh, nice. James Puckle. Working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. So that's like the quick, uh, the quick target shooting. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Not a problem. You like that, huh? <laughs> I know you like that. Yeah, that's right. That's Mr. Kenway for you. What now? Do I speak to this dude or? Oh, continue. Let me reload just in case. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah. Damaged, sadly, beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Oh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, don't just Two say. Points. As is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. The grandiose. Perform various assassinations. Okay, so we got to show these dudes how to be an assassin. Are you kidding me? Assassin doesn't always reveal his secrets. Or actually, I should say, should never reveal his secrets. Okay, let's go here. This reminds me of um of Valhalla at the beginning when we got our blades. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Oh yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Sure. Sure, you want me to show you some hang time assassinations? <laughs> Not a problem. Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Of course. Easy. <laughs> yes. These two characters are very, very interesting. Well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados, <laughs> anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. 
A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know. <laughs> Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. So now it makes sense. The assassin was an assassin that betrayed the assassin order. What is the what are the chances of that? Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. So freaking interesting. Oh my God. Decades ago, the council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies, a forgotten place our precursors once called the observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like, a device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Bro, what a cool concept. That is so cool. Like, you start off the game right off the bat inside Templar territory. Oh, this is amazing. That is cool. That is Rest really well, cool. Duncan. 
Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, I thought I was, there was a chest in that area. I was really hoping I could get it. So catch. Uh, I couldn't read that. Anyways. So. So, higher pirates. What is that? Higher pirates as bodyguards. Oh, interesting. So, that is really cool. So, I was wondering. Wait, where are the pirates? Is it these guys? Hold on. Let me kill these guys. I'm starting to wonder. I have suffered enough. Leave me in peace. Oh, goddamn, Mr. Kenway. Captain Kenway, just in time. I'll see you back aboard. Gotta be careful, man. We, you know, you don't want these Templars to see us working with the pirates. But anyways, it makes a whole lot of sense now because it was a little strange to me how we were playing an AC game. Yeah, we started off by killing an assassin. It just didn't make sense. You know, it's like... This game is all about the assassins. Why would we ever kill one? But it turned out that assassin, assassin was actually a traitor. Well, what are the chances of that? That is that that's gotta be the worst type of karma I've ever seen in my life. Think about it. You get killed by a pirate who then becomes an assassin of sorts. Simply because, well, you traded the assassin order. That's what you call karma right there, okay? That is the definition of karma. Ivory wheel now available to captains. Okay. Anyways. We are going to go to the docks. I love this. I love how pirate-ish it is. A lot of you were telling me that this was such a great experience. And it, I, I can truly see that. Now, I was noticing that Kenway actually... Probably one of the most handsome uh, assassins we've ever had. He reminds me a lot of Eivor, in a way. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. T Edward! <gasps> Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say! He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. Oh my god. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Oh, God. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned the desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way a pity but the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished hi that's the idea hmm. i don't like this route torres we're exposed something is off stay close grandmaster i feel it too do not let them get their hands on the sage at whatever cost uh-oh Assassins! Oh no! Above! They're on the rooftops! Oh 
I don't want to have to kill my own people. Come on. I mean, they're not my people at the moment, but you know. So fucking cool. Oh shit. This is so messed up. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, crap. Oh, Woo! oh the combat is really nice. Oh, God, of course. Wait, can I not use? Are you kidding me? They're gonna kill this old man. Oh shit. Bro, these guys are dangerous. I gotta go, dude. No, 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 no. I gotta go. I gotta go. Nice. Perfect. Is that the little blow dart thing? You're a nimble one. I'll give you that. Man, this is wild. I wasn't expecting the assassin to get taken out so easily. But then again, not every assassin is a master, you know? Hang back like an Alti or an Ezio or whatever. It's funny because right now we... The enemy is literally our friend. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's crazy how through the evolutions of, of, of this series, they took out those rooftop hiding spots. <laughs> like little by little. Now they're pretty much non-existent. They don't even make that anymore. An AC one, there were so many of them, like to lose the uh, the Templars. I actually have no idea how I'm gonna catch this guy. Seems to be rather quick. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, set on all sides by our enemies, we must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Well, that's what you wanted, right? You wanted money? <laughs> Uh, ships and possibly women. We got one of them already. We got some good cash flow. A thousand. Nice. Alright, so let's see. I don't know how far we are, but. Let's get out of here. So, uh, it said one of the optional objectives was to was to uh attack him from the top so like a, a top sort of takedown but i don't how do you do that let's see pistol sets hmm 
I don't know. I think we should probably wait a little bit. Yeah, let's wait a little bit to buy a sword. Yeah. All right. God, sink me for this pittance. 1,000 reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um, you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor is going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. <laughs> Imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. Huh. I'll catch you up, Bonnet. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private. We've got a lot of secrets so far. A lot of secrets. <sighs> Locate the warden. So we're hiding secrets from... From the governor. We're hiding secrets from Bonnet. We're hiding secrets from everyone, pretty much. out of combat okay we're gonna go this way stick to the tall grass that's the best way I think there's a chest right here oh god but there's guards right there oof ah god Whistle. When you're in a hiding spot or a corner stalking, press B to whistle. Come here, stupid. Yeah, that's right. Come here, bucko. Alright, good. So free of the sage. Oh my god, this is not This is not gonna be good, bro. Hey, tu, detente. This is nerve wracking. So gunners are deadly and can shoot you from afar. Avoid or eliminate them first. Dude, I'm sorry. I gotta kill you. That might, it might, if I kill one more, I might feel an optional objective. But honestly, that's that's okay. We've got a gunner looking the opposite way. We're gonna have to kill this guy. Oh crap! No! Oh my God! Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. Oh my god. All right, we're getting the hell out of here. Well, that sucks. Shit. Everything was going so damn perfect. 
Oh, right towards the end, too. Whoa. Oh, he, he killed them all. This guy's dangerous. What is your true name, Rogue? It's her. Captain Piss Off. Bianca Pulf Pizzo. Where is this sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure meat. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Wallow. Wow. 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 I did not work. I, I did not know we were gonna get caught so fast. A despicable display. This tusk part is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father. Father. Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm. He's wrong about me. I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port? Bro, tell me he doesn't look like Heath Ledger. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets like drops of rain. I can see it. He reminds me of Heath Ledger for some reason. I just thought about that. I had like, there was something about him that was reminding me of, reminding me of someone and it just hit me. I've seen a bunch of Heath Ledger movies and it, it reminds me of Heath Ledger. Interesting. La cena. Cometela rápido. You hungry? Hmm. Oh shit. That was easy. <laughs> what the fuck? That was so fucking easy. What was the point of that, bro? Oh, now that's your plan, mate. Caña. Oh, so are we on a ship out, uh, away from Cuba now? Oh, my God. Oh, this is a dynamic duel right here, baby. Oh, we ain't playing no games. <whistles> Over here, stupid. Come on, it is I, Mr. Edward Kenway. I, I, I don't know how we went from this Edward Kenway to fucking hate them. Oh, such. I hope the story, this story kind of uh, reveals that, you know, like the story of these characters. I'm so intrigued. But we're good here overall. Oh, God. Okay, so there's one way to do this. Soldier. Unlucky lads. Oh god. Alright, good. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, man. Do I gotta do everything? Come on, man. Come on, man. Get with the program. I don't even know your name here. What's your name? Hurricane coming. Hurricane. Jesus. Here we go. Stealing a brick. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. Oh shit, we're about to build a fucking army. So that's the idea then. 
free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brig in this fleet. I'll make my way to it. Come here, stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? Bro, you gotta be stupid. Okay, that's another one. Ah, oh, fuck this. Of course. Nothing good ever lasts too long, does it? Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> hey, let me say, Mr. Kenway is pretty fucking dangerous. For being a privateer. Or pirate. Let's just be honest here. And this guy is absolutely clueless. He doesn't know his men just died. What an absolute moron. There's a catch to this favor. You're sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this mate. <laughs> That's cool. Oh shit. Oh, let's Bro, tell me that's not sick. Oh, don't tell me that, because it is sick. Tell me if you guys are gonna have to work on your English, man. I mean on your Spanish. <laughs> Break the defense. Nice. Cut out the swords. Oh, did I just throw money? No! No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. So definitely don't want to put money there. I want to put my weapon there. There we go. I'm going to lose some ammo just in case. I might need some of that. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. I'm the captain now. You understand? We're going up. Oh, yes. Absolute gangsterness. Shut your ass up, sucker. Maldita sea. <laughs> You're dead, bitch. Oh, I just got pimp slap. Nope. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. Oh. Bro, Kenway has amazing, amazing technique. I feel like the combat here is even better than in AC3. I don't know why. Yeah, we should have just done this. Oh, there's no need to. No need to be sneaking around. It's just honestly, it's a waste of time. When you got skills like this, it's pointless, man. All right, prisoners are right here. Um. Oh, really? Perfect. Okay, we should be off to the last set of There's prisons. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. So, uh, the guy that we were imprisoned with, that we escaped just recently, I've seen him before in... Hold on, before I fall here like an idiot. I've seen him before in, like, uh, in-game screenshots and stuff like that. I think he is, in fact, the main character or a very important character, right? Oh, no. Oh, I see what I got to do. Okay. Oh, my God. 
this is where I was supposed to be. What's up, gangsters? Gonna reload real quick. Don't mind if I do. And you die. Well, it wasn't even here. It was on the other ship, actually. So how do we get to the other ship? Is there a way to swing that way? I feel like there is, but... You know what? Let's go for a fucking swim here. Oh, my God. They're all in the ocean. Oh, these guys are crazy. Are you guys are not scared of sharks? You know what happens if a shark comes? It's called, you get killed. You die. Well, I guess to be a pirate, you you know, part of your resume has to be, I kill sharks for a living or something quite dangerous like that. Yes. Excellent. I feel like we're doing pretty well. Oh, you were saying, sir? Okay, so we've got two more guards here. And last one. Wow, that was quite aggressive, Mr. Kenway. You're quite the aggressive young fellow. But these guys are inside. I don't know, man. There's something about this game. Just the whole fact, the ideology behind you being a pirate is so sick to me. I don't even know why this character didn't have a sequel. So they have to stay anchored. Why? Because of the hurricane or something? Damn, son. There it is. Don't worry, guys. I'm here to save you. We're going topside. Be ready. Damn, we just rescued 18 prisoners. That's insane. Shit, man. Is that the ship we're stealing? <laughs> I'm with it, bro. You gotta tell me twice. Oh, shit. Lay aboard, lads. Save your singing for Davy Jones and Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks through you lock, way anchor. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half of the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Wait, do you have um actual Watch fucking those galleons? See, they don't give us trouble. They won't. Over this weather. Enemy fire! fire! Okay, can we just leave? Can we just escape? Orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Wait, so it's fire barrels. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I don't think we have to, right? We can just escape. The water looks so damn good. Look out, man! Uh, uh, what the fuck is that? Rogue waves can be devastating for your ship. Face them up front to get no damage. If you fail to, uh, to face them, hold. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god. What do you mean rogue waves? What is this? <laughs> this game is crazy. 
Wow, what a huge fucking... There's literally tornadoes in the sky. This game is such a huge improvement. Wow, they really outdid themselves with this, man. Like, we've already seen whales, tornadoes, hurricanes, rogue waves. What, what is this? What a crazy adventure. Yeah, I, I want no part of that fucking tornado. I'm sorry, okay? I want absolutely no part of that. It's not looking good. Ooh. Oh God. We're actually, I think we're against the wind now, maybe? I don't know, but... I think the worst is, is past us right now. I'm not even worried about enemy ships. I'm worried about these damn conditions. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy shit! Bro, what is going on? This is incredible. By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Never been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! Taking this one home. Oh shit. That was so epic. <laughs> Holy cow. <clears throat> I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as my own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness I'll be your quartermaster nothing less all right and as quartermaster have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain rest and repast would do us good before Nassau water for drinking hunting for food and repairs well reasoned sir hunting that shall be you'll find a decent place to drop anchor Despite a few items in the hold earlier, powder and a few pistols, I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. 
But don't forget about the jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. Hold on, boys. You know I gotta get off in my first private beach island now. <laughs> Is this fucking beautiful? This is so beautiful. Or is there anything here that we can collect? Oh, I'm gonna get lost in the sauce in this game. Oh, dude. Exploring is gonna be such a delight. Man. Look at the color of that water. I really want to just keep playing this game. Like, it's such a wow. Like, wow. Like, I'm just in awe right now. I want to just keep playing, but I, I, I understand that we have to have a structure to this series. I hope you guys are having a great time. This whole pirate life, this very tropical lifestyle that we've got going on is such a breath of fresh air for this franchise for this marathon that we're doing with the assassin's creed games i am just i'm so in love with this right now so thank you guys for watching thank you for tuning in thank you for those of you that have been watching since forever ago and uh if you like to see daily ac4 videos just make sure these videos do well one it helps out the channel and of course it motivates me to bring you guys these videos up faster so thank you and uh whew, this is great Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.